Hello YouTube, this is Kaya and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a long time, very long time and I want to um, update you guys but I think my update will be in another video. This video will be about the depot shot. This is the truth about the depot shot. Okay. So for people that don't know what the depot shot is, I don't know the actual term, but they call it depo vera. And it's a shot that you get every three months. So it's a birth control that you get every three months. It's a shot. The shot are like crystals. So when it goes in your arm, you know it's very painful you can get it in your arm your side i think in your butt um but i get mines in my arm they rotate it every time i get it um trying to see where i want to start um the depo shot i'm gonna go with the pros first the pros the pros are pretty much I'm not pregnant and I don't have a cycle. <laughs> That's about it. Um, the cons, I have a whole list of the cons. People ask me all the time, would you recommend the depot shot? I would not. And I wish I would have done further research on it before I got it. And yeah, there is a lot of videos about it. And like if you read the side effects to it, those side effects are true. I never had a medicine. Well, me personally haven't had a medicine that just every side effect, you know, was true. So, I wish I had, like, my medicine side effect thing, but I think I threw them away. Um, cons. First, it's a lot of people. Say they either lose weight or gain weight. There's more people gaining weight than losing. What was I saying? I had to pause for a minute. Excuse me. It was um uh, uh, gaining weight. Um, when I started the devil shot, it, I was like 124, and. I've gotten up to 180. This no, my highest I think I've been was 183, and I'm back down to like 170 something. It goes up and down between 170 and 180. Um, it's a lot of people say they get up to the 200s and stuff like that. You know, I haven't gotten that big. When once I got to 180, I was like. I gotta eat better. I need to drink more water, exercise more, and stuff like that. But if you want to get on a shot, people like you need to exercise and eat better when you go on a shot. I advise you do so because I can insert some videos and pictures of what I look like before.
and I well y'all can go back and look at my old videos. I was never this big. Never this big. And another thing is wherever you get your shot at, I can feel the pain in my arm every once in a while of where I got in the shot at. And when you do get the shot, it hurts. You can feel everything inserting into your body. And it swells up a little bit and it's like a little bump where you don't want to get it. But my bump went down. I just can feel like where I got it because it was so hard. Um, let me think. It's a lot of coins, so it's a lot I've been through with this depot shot. Um, my, okay. Like my social life, oh, we gonna get into that. My social life is, I'm gonna say limited. I don't know how to put it, like, cause I've gotten better now. But at first, <clears throat> I was always tired. Well, I'm still always tired because on top of all these hormones going inside my body, because that's basically what they are. Um, I was going to school. When I leave school, I go straight to work, go to sleep, do it all over again. And I had to quit one of them and I finished school as of Friday and you know I stopped working in November I want to say I think it was November I had quit working and you know I don't I didn't like it but I was like either my body needs to rest and I'm in school seven to nine hours a day, then turn around, go to work for hours at a time, however long they needed me. Um, yeah, so I didn't really want to go out much. I became very antisocial. I always wanted to just sleep, lock myself up in a room. Um, yeah, I, I lost many friends, so many, many, and it's been like, I'm trying to figure out this word, I'm just going to say it's been a problem, it's been more of a problem in my life more than helping me it was more of harming me because it harmed I, I'm, I won't say not so harmed but it messed up my friendships my relationships my body my mental health my physical health and my I'm gonna just say my I'm gonna start my friendships and relationships. It's been hard, very hard. I'm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, like I always had like negative thoughts, and. For example, I'm going to give this as an example, even though I had these thoughts before. And, like, my car sickness, I, I always normally car sick every once in a while. But now it's, like, almost every time I get in a car. And I don't like loud scents, and it makes me feel sick. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but, yeah. Um... But, like, for my example, my negative thoughts will go so far as I'm in a car, somebody's, like, driving fast. 
and like I can see scenarios in my head playing like of us crashing or somebody hitting us like anything and you can imagine all the other thoughts I've had and <clears throat> I've seen in other videos that other people has been through the same things I've been through and it's a lot of people close to me like you you really like the devil shot like would you recommend this for me I'm like no just I don't know <laughs> like you really not supposed to even do birth control but every birth control I have a side effect so you just gotta pick what you feel right for you um Um, so the way it affected my relationships and friendships with people, like my energy would be off. I always thought negative. I had negative energy towards everything. I wanted to, I was more standoffish. I'm already like, I want to say introverted, but it's just my mind will be racing and I'll be in my own little world and I've lost several wonderful friends and so much other stuff like people don't I've been once a point in my life where people didn't want to be around me because I was so depressed in the situation I was in, but I was talking about that in another video. But that was like totally different from now. It was my hormones that's everywhere now. Um, nobody really want to be around me. Well, I've changed a lot, like a lot, a lot. I changed. I came a long way from that. Cause I would be like standoffish. Nobody really want to be around me. Nobody want to hang around me. Nobody want to do nothing with me, basically. And I've lost some good friends. I've lost good associates, and I've lost a lot of people uh, because of me, my thoughts, this devil shot. And I have to have, <clears throat> no, I had to find my happiness again within myself. I couldn't let it take control of me, but, you know, it's too late for me to, okay, it's too late for me to take back my actions of what I did and how I acted then. And I had to take myself back. I apologize to people I apologize to myself and I have to forgive myself even if others didn't because I know <clears throat> I'm not like that when you meet me I'm very happy I'm cheerful I'm goofy I like having fun you know I'm very fun you know and from I started in 2017 I want to say the end of 2017 and this is 2019 so I'm two different people from what I was and who I am now well it's a timeline basically if I want to say it yet. um I'm saying um cause at first I, I'm a whole new person right now. Um, getting back to the person I was in 2017, my happiness, and getting back happy with myself. I'm, I'm very happy now. And I decided I was going to go to the gym. You know, I'm done with school now, so I have a lot of time on my hands. Working on starting my businesses and stuff like that, you know. I'll talk about that in another video too. They'll be all in. 
the other video. Um, I don't want to talk about too much of my relationship, but it had a lot of, um, I let it take control of who I was. So, nobody's going to like that, really. Nobody will be around that type of person. So, I can understand, like, why nobody wanted to be around me. Because I wouldn't want to be around that type of person. And, man, <laughs> um, it um, messed up a lot of things I had going for myself, a lot of opportunities, just a lot. Um, I feel like my relationship could have been better if I was myself and if I didn't let it take control of me and my body and my mind and everything. It could have been way better, but it's... I don't really want to talk about this, but yeah. Um, I don't know if I said I was, yeah, I already said, you know, I was already tired. I was always tired. Didn't want to do nothing. Um, I almost quit school. Made me lose motivation. Um, basically, all the rumors that were said about it. It's true. People just have different stories about it and everything. It's true. Depression, true. Your mindset be off. It's true. Your body be aching. Don't know why your body aching. The hormones in your body is messing with your bones. So, all that really is true. Um, I would tell somebody to take off another route. Just and, and, <laughs> the other ones, I've heard bad stories about them too. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Don't lounge in pills, and you know, I sleep different times. So, I don't know how I can even do that. So, <laughs> I think, but um, I think I'm just gonna try the pills after my birthday. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try them after my birthday. Um, I just have to sit on one o'clock, you know. I ain't got time because I want. My body to be big, right? Um, I want my life all the way back, you know. Uh, I want to stop losing friendships. I want to stop being well, I've stopped being depressed. I'm not depressed anymore. I'm very happy, you know. I'm happy. It's just some things I wish I could take back. How I reacted to things. How I've acted. And all types of stuff. I just wish I could have went a different route. Because I was like, sometimes I be thinking like, I could have handled this situation better. I could have just left this alone. I could've just, you know, I don't know. It's just a lot of things to it. And I, I, I don't want to recommend this to nobody at all. Because this is, it gets, it gets real depressing when no, you know nobody want to be around it. Like, you explain to the people, like, what's going on. And it's like, 
they gonna tell you the same thing you're telling yourself. You letting this take over your body. You letting this mess up with your mindset. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, it's just a lot to this. So, I, I wouldn't even. Mm, if I. I wouldn't even do this again. Because there's so much negative things come along with this. It's a lot. So, no. I would never. I'll try something different. I don't want to try the thing on. I don't want to try the other thing. I don't think I would try this pill. So, it's not even. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. You know, it's kind of a quick video. I think I've answered everything. You know, if you got any questions, I'll put my social medias and email. Or you can just comment below, like, any questions that you have about the depot shot, like, any experiences I have have had um anything you know what i'm saying you can ask me anything because i'm open to tell you anything you know people ask me all types of questions i about heard it out um so yeah um i'm not depressed anymore you know i'm a get myself back you know and i'm happy so if you got any questions just comment below or hit me up on social medias and that's about it i'll see y'all in the next video